guys, Bay Area Aquatics here, coming out with an update video on the 30 gallon reef. In the last video I told you guys I was downsizing and here's the new tank. It's just a regular old 30 gallon that I drilled, um, built a sump, added a stand and a canopy and did all that good stuff for it. And now it's up and running. It's been this way for maybe four days now. And I'm just getting around to do a video because I just got everything uh, the way I like it almost. So I thought I'd show you guys around. We're going to start with the coral. In the back here I have a rock with um, a firefly chalice and a couple of God of War Zoas on it. Moving on we have a torch. Most of it actually receded and died so there's like one head left. Not sure why it receded but that happened in the tank before I moved it. So hopefully that recovers. Next to that we have my A-can rock. I just got this new A-can. It's called a cookie something. Pretty cool. I'm hopefully going to be getting more when I sell my reef keeper. Above that we have my Hydnophora, um, looking pretty nice, getting a whole lot bigger than it was when I first got it. Um, we have my large hammer on a separate rock. Above all that we have the first SPS, that's my Apostolopora colony, um, growing massive since the when I first got it. I'll show you a picture right here, this is um, when I first got it so you can see the tremendous improvement. And then next to that we have a smaller frag of uh, God of War Zoas. Moving on to the sand bed, I, I put all my Zoas on the sand bed. We have my Rastas on a rock. Next to that is my big frag of God of Wars. Above that, I believe those are watermelons or Sunny D's or something like that. Um, moving on, there's more Zoas on the sand bed. Another frag of God of War, radioactive Zoa or radioactive Dragon Eyes, um, unknown Zoa, and a Valentine's Day Massacre, which is closed at the moment. Next to that we have a Favia, which is looking like it's growing new eyes, so that's always good. And then on the left side we have my Duncan, which isn't open up fully, but it's getting there. Um, growing a ton of heads, which is nice. I have my smaller hammer with my um, frog spawn. I've had the frog spawn for almost two years now, and it's basically stayed at three heads. But it's just now starting to um, grow and get bigger, so hopefully it'll get more head soon. Um, my Blastomusa is recovering. I still have one head that looks like it's about receded, but it's coming back. Next to that, I have my Meteor Shower Cyphastria doing well under the low light. Moving on to the top, I have a Monopora Confusa. Monopora, just a regular plating one. A Aura Birds of Paradise Bird's Nest. Tricolor Acro. Um, Bali Green Slimer doing well. I have an unnamed acro at the very top. It looks white in the video, that's just because the I can't get the lighting correct, but it's actually um, has a lot of different blues and it has some um, showing some nice pulp extension for being in the new system and it's growing a couple new branches. So I'm excited to see acropora growth in the system. Moving along, we have a red Stylophora, which sometimes is a, a purplish. That thing has really intense color. And below that we have an acro. Those two frags are actually unglued right now. I ran out of glue so I need to put those back. My newest addition other than the that one A-can is my rose bubble tip anemone. I finally got one of these. I've always wanted one. And I finally pulled the trigger on this uh, nice big one. So hopefully the clowns will host it. I still have those black eyes clownfish and they're doing very well. Other fish in the system would be my um, flame angel my sleeperhead goby, I have a mandarin, and a cleaner shrimp. So I'm going to show you guys the equipment here real fast. For this build I went with another j pump. This one's the RW4 which is their smallest uh, version of the new pump. I have the WP25s on the old pump and I really like those so I thought I would uh, try out this one and it's doing really well so far. I'm thinking about getting a new one because they link up wirelessly now which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try out two of them, but for right now one is doing pretty well. For lighting, I have um, the generic 120 watt LED fixtures. I've been running these since my 40 gallon and they do very well. They grow coral nicely and I like the fact you can control the spectrum with them. They're really good for someone who wants a low budget light. And these are sitting in my can MPI I built. You can see right there. It turned out pretty nice. I still need to clear coat it. So moving on down to my sump, I'll show you guys that. It's um, in my custom stand that I built myself. Uh, there's still a couple of little things wrong with it. With the doors here, you'll see um, just a couple of alignment issues. So I'll fix that um, down the road. 
But here's my sump. It's just a 20 gallon tank. I put a couple baffles in and it's working real well for me so far. I have a um, the overflow chamber with some Kimi Pure Elite Carbon that cleared up the water tremendously since the initial setup. Um, this is a two chamber system right here. The water will flow down to the carbon and flow back up into a filter sock. At the moment I'm running filter floss because all my filter socks are dirty and I need to wash them. Then once it goes out of the filter sock it will flow into the refugium chamber. That's about I want to say a nine gallon refugium. So it's a pretty decent size for the tank. Um, considering it's the primary source of filtration here it should do pretty well. Right now I don't have a ton of chato or anything but it'll grow out um, really fast. I do have a single urchin in there that's because I don't want him in the main tank and I'm going to get rid of him here shortly. From the refugium I have a bubble trap and then that goes into my main pump section. I also have lines for my doser which I'll show you. So this is my dosing setup. It's the, uh, the Jabo doser. Um, I haven't run, been running it for a long time just because in the old tank um, I didn't have too many um, requirements for that. So it would be off a lot of the time but when I had it on it did very well. It's very accurate and I like it. It's easy to program just like a reef keeper. And right now I'm only dosing alkalinity calcium and magnesium. I still need to find a new magnesium mix because the Doctor and Fo the Doctor Fosters and Smith two part is pretty lame. So I'm gonna try and get the bulk reef supply one, but I'm trying to avoid the shipping cost there. So I'll figure something out. The pump does have four pumps. One of them I'm not using right now. I'm thinking about dosing um, some sort of plankton or something like that, some sort of food into the tank. I'm still doing some research on that idea. So this is the tank as it sits. Um, I'm definitely gonna want to put more coral in it. I got a second job now, so I'm definitely gonna be putting a little bit more money into it, uh, making it a nice tank. I don't want to go over the top with controllers and expensive lighting and all that, I, but I do want to get some nice corals in there, maybe a couple more fishes. If you guys have any suggestions for cool nano fish, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm pretty much open to anything like colorful and uh, uh, reef safe. I've been thinking about a couple different wrasses, there's just so many I can't make up my mind. I was also toying around with the idea of a Hellfretchy Firefish, those are kind of expensive but I think they look pretty cool. So I'm definitely thinking about um, opening to ideas of new fish, so let me know what you guys' personal favorites are right now. I only have the Clowns, Flame Angel, um, Mandarin, and Sleeper Gobi. So it's a pretty lightly stocked tank in my opinion for a 30 gallon tank, because those fish um, stay pretty small. So definitely let me know, um, and that's about it for the video. I'll keep you guys posted with any new changes. In the future, I do need to swap out the refugium light. I'm going to get a red spectrum LED fixture, and I just need to do a little um, tune-ups with some things I'm not happy about, like the stand. But that's about it. Um, please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, do all that, and I'll see you guys later.